Leo. Hello, Leo, and this is your February forecast, and let's see what the planets are going to do for you this month. Well, many of you started out here with just a whirlwind romantic time here in December, didn't you? Um, Venus uh, moving through this area of love and relationships, your partner, your other. It just looks like this was very romantic and very heartfelt and spiritual, too. And it's not over yet because Mars has been there and it's really powered up. So this man who's been around you or the actions, if you are a male and you're with some women there, Mars has really powered up the, this action of romantic feelings. And it's not over even though that Mars is going to be moving into your eighth sector of financial situations and um, looking at loans and funding or mortgages, uh, insurance uh, situations, whatever that deal is, you're going to busy yourself throughout uh, February in that matter. But Venus is coming in right behind taking over after Mars leaves into your partnership house again. So more romance. So uh, February should be an extension of January here and uh, things are looking really good on that front. Now we have several dates that I will be getting back to just so you know which nights to kind of put on your own event calendar. Uh, we have for you, um, Leo, uh, the feeling of change as far as some of you are looking to, maybe wanting to reach out, branch out to new areas of your life. Uh, it just looks like some of you are just popping open with new thoughts, uh, new ideas, and how you can actually re, not just reinvent yourself, but it's more adding to like old latent talents uh, might be uh, coming up. I, I see these uh, maybe even desires to kind of move into new fields, reaching further than what you have accomplished. And, you know, it, it, and for you, Leos, you're, you're such a midpoint in a natural way. You're so charismatic that people notice you everywhere. But And then some of you are a little bit afraid of really shining that light, bringing it forward to the crowds, maybe a little too worried what people will say. This is a key for you to overcome now so you can bring yourself up and out to the world and the crowds because this expansion that I see is taking place for you is only the tip of the iceberg okay and it's starting subtly now kind of coming up there but let me tell you though that once you move into the second half of the year you are going to be out there okay in larger circles of people and friends and organizations and uh, mingling so it, it's like right now it's just preparation state for you you have a wonderful year to look ahead to uh, so uh, whatever you feel now is bursting forward allow it to come even though if it's in shocking ways too and then some of you might be taking on new interests also within the metaphysical field your Uranus is always that you know uh, higher dimensions uh, otherworldly uh, philosophies ancient aliens all of those things here astrology uh, tarot those things are just like it's opening up you're like this wide funnel <clears throat> wanting to take in whatever is behind the veils okay you're not just taking things at, at face value anymore so this should be exciting especially for those of you born in the first third of uh, your sign will be feeling this um, very very strongly and the others of you you'll be coming in behind this but you might already sense that there is something going on but it's not your time to pop quite yet and then also, uh, Leo's, for you, there, there's been a lot of added responsibility in home and family-related matters. It could be the physical home and the residence that you live in, taking on uh, new responsibilities there, new mortgages, uh, new homes, restructuring, rebuilding perhaps, or um, the structure you live in not being the place where you want to be. 
this is going to create some antsiness for, for you to, to really want to find a place where you can set those roots and be happy there. And I see you going for it. I really see you embracing this new realm. And this is a two-year transit. So once again, it's for those of you earlier in the sign that, that it has been feeling pressure for a long time. Now those of you in the mid sign, you're actually doing something about it. Uh, you've taken those steps, good for you. You're feeling more in a sense in a place of mastery now that you are in the driver's seat, taking the reins, so to speak. Um, and then just, you know, expect your uh, love life, your partnership area to intensify, uh, not decrease, but increase in times to come. You have Pluto there, and for many of you, you will be feeling that you're being touched in a different way than you've ever been touched before. Pluto is like the magician, it's passion, it's love, it's deep. Um, so you may be attracting partners into your life right now that can really see you, get you, and get to that core of your essence. And, and this is where magic happens. Uh, and I, I think for those of you who haven't experienced that Plutonian type of love before, well, you're in for it, that's all I can say. Because it is uh, and can be uh, the most spiritual type of love that you can have if it is a good relationship, if the qualities in your partner has other functioning aspects that, that will lift and raise the bar there. If he is a type of Plutonian that is a total controller, well, then you're in for it too. And if you haven't experienced that, that can be difficult. So it, it depends now on what type of... Uh, other constellations your your partner may have but regardless it's on an increase it's only you know pretty new for many of you and more of it is coming in but let's take a look at a few dates for this month and it's starting off on a really really romantic and nice note uh here on the fourth i see you uh, being very um which I say going out, and uh, it's like honeymooning, okay? <laughs> because it's just poetic. It is spiritually heartfelt. It is all encompassing love. Um, I, I, I see candlelight and, and Bach playing in the background. So something of that matter, it starts you off on a very good note this month. And uh, moving right along, uh, Mercury is going to be moving into Pisces, meaning that your thinking will be a little bit more um, on the overall oneness of everybody and how we connect and how we attune to the people around us, our partners, this more, should I say, telepathic type communication will be coming in. So trust your senses. You know, if, if you're thinking of somebody before they think of you, well, that is telepathy right there. Then we have some exciting fun here on the 5th and 6th. We got Venus and Uranus in a beautiful dance together, which can pop some unexpected and surprising moments for you. Um, it is both love and it is things out of the ordinary, little unusual stuff coming into the mix. And then I see you speaking also of hopes and visions, uh, dreams, things that are important for you to follow. It's like you being beckoned to your future here. Also pay attention or write down little notes on your notepad. Why? Because these uh, intuitions can become a very powerful, potent ingredient a little bit later on. Also on the same date, 5th and 6th, we have uh, Venus trining Jupiter which once again is love and optimism, optimism and enthusiasm and expansion. So some of you Leos might just feel that you're expanding too fast. It's like either that or too much. It's like, where's that needle to pop the balloon, okay? But enjoy this ride. It is beautiful. You so deserve it. And uh, as we come into the 10th, now that is the other side of the stick because there might be a situation where something is being said or shared and you may not fully comprehend or understand where that's coming from because it can seem like it's a little cold or a little defensive. Um, Venus is not going to be at its best there with Saturn and Saturn can shut things down or 
push things out or it may just, you know how rings can get between you and a partner or somebody, it doesn't have to be a partner, it could be a friend or a family member, whoever the deal is, it may just not sit with you too well and it may open a can of worms and uh, insecure thoughts may come from it. But the good news is you're not going to have to go on a long wait before you figure out what that was all about. Already the next day, Mercury is going to join up with Pluto, which will actually hash it out, communicate about it. Don't be afraid to go to the bottom of the matter. It's just how you present it, you know, and that should bring clarity up for you. And then that's past. Easy come, easy go. So it's no big deal, really, but you want to be prepared. And then on the 15th, fantastic energy. I see you uh, pushing right along here with uh, Mars and Pluto. You can move mountains on this day. And for you, it will be all about between your 6th house and ninth house. So it could be practical things for you, uh, Leo. Um, moving things around and furniture or stuff, uh, rearranging, organizing uh, things, and then having the, the, the oomph there also coming from Pluto, which is creating a transformative platform for you. Um, all things new. And also in, in uh, communicating with men around you, you might find that very stimulating, very deep and very dynamic and also very passionate. Mars, Pluto are the two planets of passion here. Put those two together with all this love vibe that you have in, you have a great month cut out for you. And then the Sun will move into Pisces, uh, which uh, again then will be joining Mercury there. So again, more heartful, heartfelt feelings. Uh, creativity, it's that time of year where you really flow well, connect well with others, and uh, you might also be feeling and sensing and picking up on vibes of people around you much easier. Um, on the 21st, we have a Sun-Neptune conjunction, so uh, Mars should be pretty close in that venensity, so this should also be uh, an ideal time for reaching out, digging deep, uh, getting into, uh, I won't say necessarily what has been hidden, but finding out more of those things that you've been contemplating, because I see you going deep in thought. And then on the 25th, we have uh, Mercury and Mars. They are conjunct, so it's a time to push your point through. Uh, this will be in your eighth house. If you need to speak to a banker or uh, some investment company, insurance company or having any contracts to be signed this would be a day for you to actually push your point through uh, especially important because it has to do with other people's money and resources and getting what you need there could be tying into your home related matters as well when I think about it. So. And Leo, for those of you that have felt that you were on such a forward march with your career last year, and then suddenly from October it took like a dip or it kind of took a back seat. Well, good news is that here from the top of the month, it is gonna start moving forward again. And you will see all of those good things just branching out for you. And you were gonna be receiving your fame and honors for it as well. Now the delays that it brought uh, may not have made too much sense for you as you were on such a forward march and then suddenly it just went cold turkey. But now in the aftermath, you will come to see that those delays were actually uh, behooving you because it's coming out to giving it more depth, more expansion, and more add-ons too that may not have happened if you continued throughout autumn of last year. So just wait and see, and uh, you're going to be harvesting a lot between now, end of June, and then it's going to move into social circles and the network, and it's going to be branching out there. But right now, where you are, this is exactly where you will be benefiting the absolutely most. So congratulations, Leo. You've made it. You've hit a home run. You are there in this area. So at the end of the month, it's going to end just as wonderful and beautiful as it started out. More romantic candlelight and elevated music for you. So go for it, and I will see you next month. You may want to stay tuned just because there is 
uh, more videos that are going to be uploaded as far as palmistry so I can teach you a little bit about what your hand reveals for you and also tarot and uh, also our event calendar we will start our online classes here in February and then increase them throughout uh, March as I free up some more time so I might meet you there and just to end it off go listen to your moon sign and rising sign while you're at this because why it will give you a little bit more insight as to which areas uh, the planets are going to be affecting you this month. I will see you soon. Bye now.